like what are what are some ways that for yourself that how you train and eat that are like you know because like when i was when i was younger and i was an athlete i was eating everything a lot of the right things and a lot of the wrong things too but i got to a point when i was 19 where i'm like i need to teach myself nutrition because mm -hmm. that totally when i started reading about nutrition reading about what like true like olympic athletes eat professional athletes they don't look at food necessarily as oh i'm i'm going to enjoy this they look at it as fuel, fuel. they're like what yeah. what nutrition is going to fuel my performance today right mm -hmm. and every other day before my games before you know uh the like whatever the nba finals the nhl playoffs um and that's when i started to notice that growth like and then mm -hmm. building the muscle because my my uh, knowledge of nutrition changed it was like oh i can eat that because i'm burning so many calories it turned into no i know how awful i'm gonna feel if i eat that too many cookies or chocolate bars but if i you know eat more veggies you know like let's say like yam or sweet potato and like steak or chicken and i break down like how you have like the palate right of your mm -hmm. proteins fats and carbs when you're showing that infographic on your content that's that's how I shifted from eating everything to eating the right more the more of the right things. I'm still not perfect, but like looking at food as fuel to fuel my mind and body. And when we kind of make that mental shift, you feel so much better. And when you feel so much better, your body craves that good food as well. So it's not like it's like some people are like, oh, I'm not looking forward to my, you know, broccoli and carrots and chicken, but it's not, I don't look at food that way. I look at it as it's energy. It's potential energy, right? 